Hello. Glad to have you back. Glad to have you back. Did I say I'm glad to have you back? Welcome once again to think about it. Our word today is reading. Reading. And I'm simply going to share 10 reasons why reading is so important. Something that you can uh, get all over the internet. But since it may be something you hadn't thought about, I'm going to reiterate some of it today because we need to read more. We need to read more. It's just a benefit to read. Listen to this. Ten reasons why reading is important. It improves your creativity and imagination. Imagine that. Just by simply reading. We have so much information that's available to us uh, online on any subject. Now, do you have to be careful of some things? Of course you have to be careful of some things. Everything that's on the Internet is not absolutely unequivocally true. But we use common sense um, uh, elements. We also um, get it from different references and then things that you absolutely know. But we need to read more, especially as God's people. We need to read more because it just simply helps us. Okay, so it improves your creativity and imagination, and it helps you learn. You learn so much from reading. You know how much travel you could do just going online, going to different countries, looking at pictures, videos, many places that we used to dream of uh, but never see. You can literally see as if you were there. So, so when you read, it helps you learn. And learning, of course, helps you grow as a person. We, we shouldn't make excuse, excuses not to grow as God's people. And, and, you know, we always send things like, well, you know, the Lord will take care of it. Yes, he will. He takes care of us. But we need to do some things, too. And it makes life interesting, too. It increases your vocabulary. And I love that. All right. We shouldn't be afraid to um, learn new words and use new words and share those new words with others. Get this. It improves your memory. Reading improves your memory. To give an example of the excuses we make, I hear people say all the time, I know, Pastor, you want us to read the Bible more, you want us to read material more, but I don't read because I'm such a bad reader. You're a bad reader because you don't read. You don't read well because you don't read. The more you read, the better you get at it. All right. So you so you mess up some words. So do I. So you learn to pronunciate them the right way. But read. Laugh at yourself when you butcher a word. But keep reading. It increases your concentration and attention span by reading. And I I've, 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 I've did some research on it many months ago. But then it was it was brought up just the other day is that. You can actually improve your attention span from where it is, even if it's depreciated some by reading. Hmm. It improves your writing skills. That's a fact. It improves the way you write because when you read, you learn new words, you get new perspectives, you get other people's ideas, you get a different frame of reference. Read. It reduces stress. A lot of people would rather sit around and worry about the problem than read about another country or learn about another country or learn about another culture. We'd rather just sit back and worry. All right. Reading could, can, and does in instances extend your lifespan. Wow. It boosts, it boosts your empathy. We have a better understanding of why people um, operate the way they do. We have a better understanding of why people do the things they do in other countries, other cultures. And we can more empathize with others because we have more information simply by reading. And it expands your understanding of the world. Okay, that's basically what I was just saying. But it expands your understanding of the world. Reading gives you context. As it relates to other countries, learning why they do what they do, why they think the way they think, all right? And then the better you get at reading, the more exciting it becomes, and the more exciting it becomes, the more you do it 
and the better you are at it. It is my hope that you'll start reading more. I think if you read more, even if it's not biblical material, if you read more and you get better at it, I think you do a better job of reading the Word of God and enjoying it. I really believe that. I'm just hoping you'll think about it.